Welcome to a video from the digitallife.com New Windows 10 build to look at. This is 18317 for Windows Insiders on the Fast Ring. And once again, not a huge amount of changes with this build. The first thing Microsoft call out is the splitting of Cortana and Search. And I actually showed this on a previous video because I've had this for a while. So here is the area where Cortana was. And it's now Search. And over here is Cortana without the search so just the listening part and not the um, actual search part as you can see there it's listening I can close up and there's search so I can do all the usual search parts of Cortana and I can search apps and documents and things like that so all the usual stuff that you're used to it's just the actual Cortana bit with the notebook and the in speech integrations is split over there. Probably a de-emphasis really on, on Cortana, but it's still there. So this has been um, this has been available for some time for me, but like I said this is going out to everybody now. Now another change is an under hood the check on the hood change is the splitting of the start menu process or the task. And there it is. So it was all under the Shell Experience host. It's now under Spot and uh, Start Menu host. I think this means that if this crashes, it doesn't take the rest of the system off. If there was issues with the system hanging, then and this still runs. I've had you know we've had to restart the Start Menu, and uh, you can do it by that task now. Another change is that you can now drag and drop fonts in as well. I'll just quickly show you the font screen on there. So there's the new font screen and you can drag them and drop them into that folder. Now for Windows Insiders, they've changed the Windows Insider page to simplify some of the options. So there you can see um, you've got the option of, of stop, stop getting preview builds. And then you've got this here, here's your uh, ring option slow fast or release I think mine's on customized because I was on skip ahead skip ahead doesn't do anything different at the moment um, interesting to see that you can't customize it you've only got those those three options now there's a lot of updates to the console around fixing of displays and, and things like that and there's a lot of other fixes USB um, mapping and green screen of death when uh, with certain drivers. They've also fixed some Hyper-V stuff and some high uh, CPU usage and a couple of services and some Chrome with narrator and things like that. So, um, but one thing they haven't fixed or is no issue with this is the Windows subsystem for Linux will crash or crash the machine if you try and use it. Um, so you don't want to be on this build if you're using that all the time so that's it really with the changes on this we were probably getting towards the end i would say of new features so we're just going to get bug fixes for the next few weeks as we get towards the april release and they might sneak us new a few new features in there but nothing that uh, that's coming around yet and of course we've got the things like reserve storage space and sandbox and light mode and everything else already in this build so thanks for watching this video you can see more on the next video on our youtube channel is on twitter and the digitallifestyle.com